Throughout my life, I've been in many different industries. I honestly didn't really think about my faith or my purpose or my holiness throughout my careers. I just plain and simply thought about paying my bills, getting food on the table, and that was pretty much about it. Now, when I signed up for college and internship this year, I thought it would just be another another year just walking through life doing the bare minimal. Not really worrying about anything, not really doing anything, but Pastor Chris Collins said at the beginning of the year, there's going to be many different challenges. There's going to be challenges that will be putting you up against the wall and having your back at that wall. And yeah, I didn't honestly think too much about it. And around February this year, I actually voluntarily understood what he meant by challenges. Um, my family broke up from drinking and a few other bits and pieces as well and I felt really alone I didn't want to do anything I didn't have any reason to be on this planet I just didn't believe anything I literally lost my faith in all of that now throughout this process through throughout February I actually caught COVID just to make things even more worse <laughs> And I just really didn't want to be here. I I lost everything. Now, during that whole process, if it wasn't for two people, I wouldn't be here. I would have plain and simply ended it. Every, every, ended it. Those two people were Jason Atkinson and James Morrill. Now. Jason Atkinson, he is my intern pastor. Uh, he is also my hosting leader as well. Um, when I had COVID, I was just gonna pretty much end it on that day. I yeah, it was really dark. Um, but if it wasn't for him messaging me right then on that spot I wouldn't be here so I'm very thankful for Jason being messaging me on that day um, he literally just sent me a Bible verse uh, Psalms 25 6 I think it is uh, you walk through the valley you walk through the valley and you fear no fear because the, the staff is with you. Now, forgive me, I, I can't honestly remember word for word from that scripture. But it's actually, through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. And... After that, I still, I still retained some of my faith that day. I, after COVID and after a few other bits and pieces, I didn't really smile that lot, smile a lot, or I didn't talk. I wasn't very talkative. I didn't really do anything. Just. I just did stuff to get by. I didn't feel like doing anything to the point. I, I actually really hated my birthday because it lasted for a few months. I, I, I hated my birthday. I hated everything. I still didn't want to do anything. But Jason actually noticed. He... He actually noticed that I wasn't, I wasn't normal. I wasn't feeling 
my normal self. Now, he actually noticed me, and he actually started to take me under his wing more. He started talking to me, and he... He didn't baby me, but he, he restored my faith, and he kept building back up for me, and I was really grateful. Now, the other person, James Morrill, he, he's my best mate. He's more like a brother to me, brother from another mother type deal. Um, met him through high school, and he was another one as well who saved me on that day as well. Because if it wasn't for those two people, I am, yeah, I wouldn't be here, plain and simple. But I am 100% grateful that they were here for me on that day. Throughout that whole process, they were there for me. I, I can't be more grateful than for having them to my life. Like, Pastor Jason's my intern leader, my best mate was there through all of this, and I actually I just found my faith again and I came back to holiness because of them too. I now I'm starting to think more in depth of everything. Now, throughout this year as well, I also attended Bible College, and I've I'm more grateful for doing all that stuff for Jason pushing me and pulling me to finish my subjects and still talking to me throughout all of this. And always checking me or checking up on me to make sure I'm alright, that I'm coping. And from then to now, I've come a so much further than I ever thought I could. Like, we're now in December. I honestly didn't think I was going to be here, but I am now grateful that I am. I've met new people, I've helped people who are walking through the same stuff I was. I kept pushing and pulling like Jason did and what James did and I am totally grateful. I've helped people who were in the darkest valleys and I brought them back like I'd like Jason did and what James did as well. I've I've actually felt more better now than I ever did in my whole year, in my whole life. I'm now starting to think of how I present myself, how I talk, how I walk. Like when I'm at work, I I usually swear like a sailor, and now I don't. Because I've I've been taught different things. I've learnt new things through college, through internship, through Pastor J J uh, Jason, through James, and I've come back to where I was twelve months ago, but in a better way much better way I'm reading my Bible more I am doing everything tenfold I'm pushing better I am feeling better I'm I don't know what to say plain simple I'm grateful for everything I found my faith again I'm being restored to holiness I'm truly grateful for this year, for the people who have been placed in my life and been around it as well. Thank you.